Get ready with me to go on a super secret date for my two year anniversary with my mans. So today Harrison has planned out a whole day of surprises and if you already saw it, I did my day celebrating our anniversary in advance because I know he planned this months in advance. So I just wanted my time to take him out, but now it's his day. And so far the day started out with him waking me up with breakfast in bed, which I absolutely love. There's nothing that I love more than being in bed and eating food. So it was a really good start to the day. Also the latte he made this morning was so delicious. We just got an espresso machine finally and that really has been changing the coffee game. If you don't have one, just get a mini one. I got it on sale, it was so inexpensive, and the difference in coffee is crazy. So after I woke up, I got this email that was a clue to what we were doing today, and it said to go down to the mailbox. So I went downstairs, and I found this in my mailbox, which is a super secret document uh, for Agent Johnson for my eyes only so I can't really show you guys but it's so top secret it doesn't even have a return address and the reason the backstory behind why today is like this is because I love spy movies and I know it's so crazy to say but we watch one like every day like I love spy movies <laughs> and I always low-key wanted to be a spy when I grew up and I always had like those little gadgets and to be honest, I still have my little gadgets. So that was really cool of him to play into the whole like top secret agent spy stuff for me to give me clues on what we're doing today. So pretty much in here, I had to accept the mission. I have a target, it's him, and there's a little picture attached so I can know who my target is and what they look like. And it's so funny because I'm literally the one who took that photo of him. Now that my liquid products are dry, I'm gonna set it with the Huda Beauty powder. So after I accepted my mission, I found this at the door, which was crazy because we went inside the apartment together, so how did it get there? So inside there were essential clues and a little tool that's gonna be part of this experience. Apparently the person giving me this mission is called Sneaky McSpy, so that's not suspicious at all. My mission is to track Harrison and follow him throughout the day and see what kind of spy stuff he's up to. So I can totally do that, I follow him around anyways. And apparently there's going to be a shipment that comes in tonight and I have no idea what that is, so I guess I'll just have to wait and see. So now I know the theme of today after getting all of these clues, so now I know what to do with my makeup and I'm just gonna like snatch my face, I'm gonna do a spy look, you know spies, who are women are always just so hot and they're just so snatched. Their makeup is perfect, their body is perfect, their clothes are perfect, they're in heels, they can run in heels. I'm not wearing heels. So I definitely wearing sneakers. I own like one pair of heels for weddings only. <laughs> but if I was a real spy, I would definitely train in heels in case I have to go to a gala and like chase some bad guys or whatever, you know. The usual. I'm just gonna make sure that my nose is snatched too. I'm gonna use this extra dimension blush because it adds like a little bit of a glow and if I'm gonna be running around chasing bad guys or whatever, I might get a little bit glowy because your girl doesn't sweat, she glows. And this will just make it look like I already meant to do that. At the bottom of this letter, it said make sure to bring shades and I have this thing over here that holds all of my sunglasses. So I went over there and I looked in all of the little cubbies and I got another note. Highlighting with Whisper of Guilt, by the way. I really love this highlight. And then a little bit for my nose and some for my brow bone. So this note has a clue and it says, I have three hands but cannot touch with them. I have no legs, yet I run. So I was trying to figure out what that was and I was like, it's a clock, but we don't have clocks. So yeah, it's a watch. I found a broken watch and the hands were at 2 p.m. And there's also an address down here. So we'll be going there at 2 p.m. I'm gonna try out the new Huda Beauty Pretty Grunge Palette, which is absolutely stunning. And there are a bunch of different textures of shadows in here. And then at the very bottom, there's like an eyeliner type thing or like a cream shadow. So I think that's really cool. But I'm just gonna do something kind of simple. So I'm doing Hope and Rise Up, just mixing it together to get more of a medium brown for the contour. I don't wanna do anything super crazy for shadow because I'm gonna be really going in with eyeliner today. And I want the eyeliner to be the star of the show. I'm gonna make it nice and sharp. Just making sure these are nice and blended. I'm gonna use a little bit of stand up just for my lid because I might as well put something there. And this is like pretty light. I don't think it will take away from the eyeliner. 
I love Huda Beauty palettes. Honestly, Huda is one of my favorite beauty brands and they never disappoint. Gonna do my brows like normal and add a little brow gel. Now I'm going to tight line both of my water lines, top and bottom, which is a black eyeliner. Do you guys ever just like sandwich it between your eyes and then get the top and the bottom at the same time? Feels weird if you press too deep. Next I'm using the Rimmel Wonder Ink Liner, which is a felt tip liner. And I've never tried it before, so this is gonna be the first time. And let's see how it is. <sighs> Eyeliner is so hard to film on camera. I feel like I need to go like all the way up close into a mirror, but I can't really do that and also show you guys. But so far, so good. And I'm also going to do an inner corner point. I'm gonna make sure that this connects with the bottom, kind of without adding too much. Oh, like I just did. Ah, okay. Okay, this is like a little harder to work with than I expected, but this will just have to do because I only have like 20 more minutes. Why is one eye always easier than the other eye? This is like drying out and it's my first time using it. Felt tips, like they dry out so much, so I'm always wary of them, but like sometimes they surprise you and they're good, just not today. <laughs> Okay, I am switching liners. This was just not working out for me. This is also a felt tip liner, but you dip it in so you can get more product on it instead of it just like drying up. Moving on to mascara, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, which I really like. And it's just going to be easier than putting on lashes because I don't know how active I'm gonna be on this spy mission and I don't wanna have to worry about bringing lash glue and having the inner corners peel off. And this is such a good mascara. I feel like it really lengthens and it's not clumpy. I like the brush and overall, it's just one of my favorites, I would say. Like you can really see a difference in that eye versus this eye. So this is one coat and this is two coats. For lips, I'm using Rose Brown by NYX to line them, and it's just a really pretty brown neutral color. Then I'm gonna fill in with a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk on the inside of my lips. Just blend that out a little bit. And of course, I'm using a setting spray to keep all of that hard work in place and hold it together while I'm on my mission. I'm just gonna pat that in a little bit. And for the fit, I wanted something kind of hot, like a hot spy, but also like agile. So I'm wearing these pants that have like a bunch of pockets. These pants, <laughs> they also have some suspenders at the back just for fun. And then for my hair, I don't know, maybe I should leave it in like a loose ponytail just so I can run around better and not get it in my face. But I don't know, the curls are like curling today, so Maybe I should just leave it down and do some edges. Yeah, I'm just gonna do some light edge work <laughs> and keep my hair down and I'll just bring a scrunchie so if I need to put it up, I have that option. This new edges brush I got is so new, it's like scratching me. Ow. So this is the final look. I'm gonna wear my hair down, bring the scrunchie, and let's see what he has in store for today. The address on the note led me to Spyscape, which is a spy museum, but also gives you missions. So there were some cool exhibits and also some games you could play as a spy, like this really cool laser tunnel where you have to hit as many buttons as possible before the time runs out without getting hit by lasers. And it was so fun. Then I got another email saying I must need a drink after that, that Harrison has a new tattoo and a clue that led me to a rooftop bar called Spyglass, where he had champagne waiting for us at an incredible view and then we got vegan burgers and another drink before the next email hit and said to go to a grocery store for potatoes and spinach. So we did that and then the next email said, I thought you were vegan and I was so confused too because I thought I was vegan until I found the secret receipt that had potato, spinach, and chicken listed for 100K. So I was more confused until I realized that his new tattoo, which was a tree stump, was the other half of the clue and that the import must have been chicken of the woods and I was right. And pretty much chicken of the woods is this rare mushroom that I've been trying to find so desperately that I even bought spores to try and grow it myself but wasn't successful and I've been dying to try it. 
So it turns out he hired someone to forage some for us so I could finally try it. So he hit it with that wet dredge and that dry dredge and made crispy chicken of the woods strips and an amazing dinner overall. And it was one of the best vegan dishes I've ever had and definitely an anniversary to remember.